Well, Evan, the Tower Theater had to cancel the rest of their events for 2020, so that means no one's getting paid because no money is coming in. As you can see, the marquee is on, but it is dark inside. This stimulus money means $15 billion for Save Our Stages to give live venues like the Tower Theater a fighting chance to survive this pandemic. The big news is that this is a big chunk of money that will buy venues more time. It's a lifeline. Chad Whitehead with Tower Theater says many independent live venues desperately need. Back in March, he says many venues like the Tower Theater were the first to close as the pandemic began and will likely be the last to reopen. How you talk and how you live it. Just because of how much logistics go into putting on tours and concerts when you think about bands having to move all across the country. Those businesses getting some relief, a chunk of the $15 billion in stimulus money as part of Save Our Stages. I don't know if it solves everyone's problems in every city in America. Yeah, uh, because we don't know exactly how long uh, the full concert business is still going to be on hold. During the nine month wait to reopen, Whitehead explains he's had to lay off employees and reduce wages. There have been a multiple of strategies that sort of come and go based on uh, on, on how the funding uh, grants and opportunities open themselves up to us. As to how much Tower Theater will get and if it will be enough to open the doors again sooner rather than later. And that is one of the biggest question marks to this and, and it's why we're all very excited but also still waiting to see how it all shakes out is the amount that we can qualify for needs to match the amount that we actually get.